So we're getting around and seeing a lot of big data, a lot of data innovation because it's such an important topic for the modern business. But how do you clean your data, particularly if you're an analyst at a big uh, a Fortune 1000 company? You, you're going to now have petabytes of data sitting on some Hadoop cluster somewhere, and let's say you need to move it into something else. How do you clean it up and find a new pattern in that data? That's what we're going to hear from Pexata right now about Pexata. Hi. Prakash. Who are you? Prakash Nanduri, co-founder and CEO of Pexada. Uh, I'm a guy who's been, who's been in enterprise software for most of my professional career, over 20, uh, 20 years. Um, and in the last 15 years or so, I've spent uh, my life primarily working in the area of solving the toughest problems that, lead, that, that are centered around um, data management, data integration, data quality uh, for large enterprise customers. Uh, Paxara is my second company that I've uh, co-founded. Uh, the first company I, I founded was in a space called Master Data Management. That company was acquired, Velocell was acquired by Tibco Software. And the Paxara journey came about because uh, as I was uh, witnessing a tremendous amount of innovation in the self-service uh, business user focused BI tools, tools like ClickView, Tableau, Spotfire, and others, there was a tremendous amount of innovation there. And there's a tremendous amount of innovation on the bottom end uh, around large NoSQL in data infrastructure, Hadoop, um, you know, and others. And what was the missing layer here was there was no bridge or link between these large data sets and the visualization tools. And what needed to be there is a business analyst focused solution towards bringing data together, data um, aggregation, data enrichment, data quality, and governance, but centered around a business analyst. And from what you showed me before the camera was on, we'll take yes. a look in a minute, it's almost like Excel for Hadoop. <laughs> you know, it's almost like a, a tool, because I, I used to do this kind of work yes. with my small databases right. at, at startups, which were a few, a few thousand or a hundred yes. thousand rows, right? right? But when you're in a, a world where there's millions or hundreds of millions yes. of rows, you just don't put, pull that into Excel and do anything useful with exactly. it. Exactly. You're, you're absolutely right. So one of the things that is important is, from a business analyst perspective, the paradigm they're most used to is an Excel-like paradigm. They're familiar with looking at rows and columns and they're, look, they're looking at tabs and et cetera. So what you have seen in the user experience that Paxata provides is a very similar experience so that they don't have to go into learning something completely new. The difference with Paxata though is the intelligence and the engine underneath the user experience. So while the business analyst is able to very nicely and easily uh, you know, split columns, add a new column, change specific text, change words. Um, they can they can do that interactively, and it uh, it automatically does the, it, it. It takes care of that. But at the same time, underneath the 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 platform, the tool is automatically integrating the diverse data sets that are bringing in. So if a business analyst has five data sources and he has to stitch those together. Today, he has to do it manually. He has to look at very difficult pivot tables and things like that, or write SQL scripts, et cetera. In the case of Paxara, it's done for him automatically. And then it's, recomm it's, it's recommended to him in the context of his analytical problem. Yeah. It's like, oh, you want to bring these things together? In the context of customer um, targeting, we suggest this is the way you bring the data together. Oh, you're doing this for supply chain? This is the way you want to bring and, it together. And we'll take a look in a second. Now, this is for uh, companies that can afford this because right? it starts at $3,500 a, right. a year, right? And goes up from there depending on your Yeah, on your actually, flows. we're making it extremely affordable because uh, if you look at it, any business analyst who has a need to do this can sign up to the Pexata, go to the Pexata website, pexata.com, 
uh, sign up for trial and then actually use a credit card and pay and get started. So it's a very low cost of entry. This is not like the you know, hundreds or millions um, of dollars in investment that companies had to make if they needed to do things like this before. Can, can you show us a little bit about what, what it looks like and uh, maybe give us a sense of the power that's underneath the hood here? Sure, so if you look at, if you look at what, you're, what you're seeing here, uh, one of the things that I'm showing you is a business analyst has brought together a data set and you can see that there is these color codes and you can see that the color pattern. So we have this pattern highlight where automatically I can see the repeated columns versus the ones that are non-repeated. Like if you see Glacier, these are all repeated columns. Yeah. So visually, I can start looking at the quality of my data right away without having to deal with too much of, uh, uh, too much of hassle, yeah. right? Um, I, and you we, can see mistakes, you can, we can see, see duplications. Mistakes. Exactly, so if you see the yellow bar here, it shows that there's a white space, right? These are things that are automatically being shown to you. And if you look at, uh, in this case, zip codes, which is always a problem, you see that there's no color patterns here. Why? Because there's no repeated value. There's no proper structure to this thing. That's one of the things that we immediately are able to see. If you look up here, you have all these things, what we call filtergrams, where you have an ability to actually very quickly figure out what your data has in it. If you want to find out whether this is my data set that has distributors, if I just type dist, it automatically get, shows me in real time what are the elements that I have with distributor in it. So I can very quickly go and explore my data. I can also... Uh, and is this fast with petabytes of data? This is fast with millions of lines, millions of rows of tables. And what we also have is, just, just to be very clear, for any average business analyst, they're not, they're not doing analysis on petabytes of data. They're doing analysis on you know, a million, millions uh, of lines, potentially a, a terabyte, but most of the times they're in gigabytes. However, one thing that's very interesting is they may have a data set that's petabytes, but they want to do the data preparation on a sample of that data and then apply it to across, across the board. So what Paxara allows you to do is also a real-time version and then a batch version. So they can actually go and apply what they're doing in this tool to their petabytes of data. Okay. So that's where it, it allows you to operate in two modes, both in real time and in batch. Cool. That's another power, power of the data. So let, let's say we find a pattern for me that I, I might need to uh, clean up when I bring it into uh, my new system. So if I look here, uh, I may see that, okay, if you see this pattern, I see that there's Mike Riley, there's Texas Panhandle, and there's colors here. But if I look at the uh, zip code information, I find that there's no pattern. And what I find is always a mess between, uh, between zip, uh, zip codes in terms of five digits versus eight digits, etc. So what we can do is actually, you can go over there and you can split, uh, here's a pre-built function yep. to split a column. Now, traditionally when you're dealing with Excel or traditionally dealing with all this stuff, you have to write a script to split a column. In, uh, in Excel, all you just have to do is split. Um, separator is a dash, and you hit split. And what you find is, in one click of a button, now you have split the zip code and the four-digit numbers. Now, if you want to improve your four-digit stuff, but you want to actually do the analysis on the five-digit, you can go ahead and do that. So it's very simple, easy to use, Anything that a business analyst is familiar with, with doing, we can, we can do here. And that's why instead of having you write a lot of scripts, we're pre-building a lot of scripts. If you want to change, for example, let's, let's take this example, right? It's all in uppercase. But you want to do, um, uh, just to say I want to, I want to do it in lowercase. That's the standard in my enterprise. Well, I switch it, automatically it's gone into lowercase. Now, that's all nice and dandy, but a lot of times in enterprises, you want to know what is going on in the, the way your business analysts are using your data because data lineage and governance is a very critical piece, especially in this day and age. Well, one of the beauty of Paxara is every, every step that you take in the tool is recorded. 
So we have, for the first time, brought in what we call the data time machine, the industry's first data time machine, where all the steps I have done, renaming a data set, importing of distributors, for example, split column zip code, which I just did for you, and then make lowercase. All of that is recorded by who I am. I'm, I'm logged in here as Lindsay Haynes, and less than a minute ago, about a minute ago. Yeah. So it's telling me everything that I've done over the last few minutes, and frankly, if I want to go back and say, let me go back to what the data set was at step four, I can go back. So I have the ability to go backwards and forwards, and I have full transparency of what I'm doing. But more important is, if my colleagues also have the same capability, that's where the Paxata share comes in, they're also able to, in real time, work with me and work on the same data set together. You know, you're, you're familiar with it. Yep. You're a marketing person, somebody else is a salesperson, you have to go for an ops review, you have a data set, he has a data set, you're gonna go to the CEO of tomorrow for, for a meeting. It always invariably is that my data set and your data set don't really work together. And in the case of Paxata, ahead of the meeting you can work together, <laughs> you can look at, you can make sure that both of you are working off the same data set, and then when you go and do your analytics and then when you pr project your marketing review versus sales review, you're working off the same data set. That's the power of collaborative data preparation. No, that's really, really cool. Um, this is way outside my job, usually, <laughs> and my interest, right? Because I don't, I don't, they don't let me touch the data. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly not customer data, right? They so, should. <laughs> well, you know, not really. <laughs> Once you use Pexata, you'll be able to get it. <laughs> um, so w what does somebody like that need to know to evaluate whether your tool is right for them? It's a great question. So what we find is that in the, in, in the enterprise, when you look at the business analysts, the business analysts are in sales operations, marketing operations, financial planning and analysis, uh, or supply chain, et cetera. Today, they do a number of ad hoc analytical exercises. They either use Excel or a product like Tableau or ClickView, Spotfire, to, to be able to do their ad hoc visualization. These folks know exactly the pain it is to bring the data together or to do the data preparation before they're able to get the significant value that these analytical tools provide. For those guys, when, when we go and speak to them and we say, you know, what percentage of your time are you, are you spending in data preparation? They say, oh my gosh, that's, that's the biggest killer that's the weekend killer. That's the one where I spend most of my time. Yeah. So what Paxata's vision is also, it's really important is that we believe that the business analyst should get his or her life back. Today, when on a Friday afternoon, my manager, and I'm a business analyst, and this goes across the board as, as a business analyst, at 3 p.m. in the afternoon, if you are in FP&A and your controller or your, your CFO comes to you and says, hey, we have an ops review on Monday. Can we figure out you know, which, product was sold, uh, which product was sold to which customer through which distributor, and can we get an analysis by Friday, uh, by Monday? What happens is either, number one, if I'm a business analyst, the first thing I do is I call up my spouse and say, hey, I'm not coming home for the weekend, honey, because I'm gonna be working throughout this weekend doing data, data preparation. And second, if I'm in IT, I'm, I'm breaking into a cold sweat because I have to get this data and print, put this data together. It's not because they cannot do it, it's just that it's very cumbersome. Yep. It takes a lot of effort. And uh, with Paxata, we hope to change the lives, not just of the business analyst, but also of the IT folks who are spending way too much time right now in the world of provisioning data, in the, t in the world of actually ad hoc data requests. Can I have this, can I have that? And we hope that as Paxata becomes prevalent, this will, this will change their lives. Can you, uh, right now you're showing me sort of a relational database. Mm -hmm. Can you bring in s sensor data from United, you know, un uh, Union Pacific is putting sensors underneath mm -hmm. railroad tracks to listen to the cars. Can you bring in that kind of data and look for patterns in it? The, the product supports any kind of structured, unstructured, or semi-structured data. So if the, sensor, if the sensor data is captured and it's probably captured in some kind of a data store, you can pull that in. Uh, you can also pull in data that's not within your firewall. Because another secret that is not well known is that 
when you're doing analysis in the enterprise, more and more, the data that you're trying to analyze, actually more than 50% is out, sits outside your enterprise. And what you want to do is you want to take your internal data, which we call proprietary or personal data, and merge it with public and premium data. So, it's so like, like here you have sales, I might want to bring in a weather database I'm, from some place to exactly. understand what happened with the weather and see if there's a pattern there. Or, absolutely, or absolutely. I, so you can, for example, we have customers today who want to, want to leverage data around uh, geolocation codes, right? Because they have distributors, they've got locations, they've got customer locations, they want geolocation codes. With the Pexada system, it's, it's a, literally a, with a, a few clicks of a button, they can actually go and access a source of their choice. The interesting thing is that they go and access the source of their choice. They could go to maybe Google Freebase, they can go to um, a semantic, uh, uh, semantic web version of Wikipedia, which is called DBpedia. They can go and pull that from the Pexada Enrichment Cloud, and they can very quickly go and get that information because Pexada has the intelligence to semantically type every piece of data that they're seeing here. So for example, if you're looking at cities here, one of the challenges in data quality is I have a perfectly uh, well-written word here that's called Dallas, D-A-L-L-A-S. It yep. seems reasonably, syntactically it's fine. But how do we know that there's actually a city called Dallas in Texas? Now, you and I know that, but it, potentially we don't, we don't know that. Uh, what Paxada allows a business analyst to do is to first semantically reconcile that there is a city called Dallas, Texas in the world. And second, once I have semantically reconciled that, I can go and get every piece of information that's related to Dallas, Texas that's available in the open world. So if I'm going and reconciling, for example, with Google Freebase, I can go and say what other information is there uh, related to Dallas, Texas. And I can get geolocation code, I can get per capita income, I can get demographic information, et cetera. And all of that becomes readily accessible and can be pulled into this data, into this, into this uh, data set. And that really makes it completely different. Going back to the world of context, right? Many times in enterprise analytics, I don't know what I'm looking for when I start my analytics exercise. I explore data like I was exploring here. And as I explore more, I have more questions that come up. And yeah. more questions mean a request for more data. And I need to be able to, in real time, go and pull that data in the context of my analytical exercise. Yeah. And that context is important because that was not relevant two months ago or two minutes ago, and it's not going to be relevant two, two days from now. It's yeah, because before this conversation, I didn't know that I needed to look up uh, the weather in Dallas to see why the sales are being affected. Exactly, right? exactly. Mm. Or if I start looking at this and I find, hmm, actually, wh why is it it's interesting that Texas has actually got the most number of shipment, uh, the most number of shipments of, of, of beer in this case are going to Texas. Why is that? What could be the reason? Oh, maybe it's a demographic information. Maybe there's been a. Are you change. are you denigrating the whole state of Texas? There? <laughs> no, I love Texas. I went to school in Texas. <laughs> but they drink a lot of beer. <laughs> of course they do, and so did I. <laughs> That's actually a proud fact about Texas. <laughs> so no, uh, so but it's it's a point that you want to learn more in yeah. the context uh, of your analytical problem, and as you're learning more, you have more questions that come up. And that in return. I'm thinking, you know, I live right by the uh, Ritz Carlton in Half Moon yeah. Bay, and they have four computer systems, none of which really talk to each other. And then they don't talk to Foursquare, and they don't talk to Facebook, and they don't talk to Twitter, because I, I know this. <laughs> yeah. I met the vice yes. president of marketing now. Yes. But in five years, they are going to talk to yes. each other, and then they're going to layer on more data, right? Exactly. Because they want to serve you based on who you are. And you're absolutely, you're absolutely right. I, I like to use another example. You and I and most people get junk mail. Yeah. And we get junk mail from some of the premier Fortune 1000 companies in the world. Like Tiffany's. My wife got some junk mail from that <laughs> last week. Financial institutions. <laughs> Big, thick catalog Etc. Yeah. And, you know, it's not like these companies want to send out junk mail. 
it's the, it's the issue that they do not know who to specifically target. Yeah. And therefore, they send it out to everyone as much as they, they can, hoping that they get some hit. Now, wouldn't it be wonderful for them to figure out who actually wants that product and will actually be wanting to buy that product and send that information to them proactively so that they could actually make a sale? And they would reduce their cost of, of uh, mail and, and material, and at the same time, increase their sales. Yeah. That's the vision that I would like to see. I'd like to reduce my junk mail, but I'd also like to get mail that's relevant to me. Yeah. Um, is there something I have to put, let's say I, I want to use Pexada here mm -hmm. at Rackspace, is there something I have to do here to get this to work, or do I just start bringing in no. the sources? No, thanks to Rackspace, which is, we are a customer of Rackspace. Oh, I didn't even know that. That's great. <laughs> Our, uh, our product is a multi-tenant cloud offering, okay. uh, which is hosted on Rackspace, and uh, it is as easy as going to our website, signing up. Once you once once you sign up, you get your credentials, you log on, and bingo, you are up and running. There's a small tutorial to get you up and running. It'll take you about 15-20 minutes. It's a very, as you can see, WYSIWYG, easy to use world. Uh, and you sign up, and uh, you load your data sets, you, you merge them, you enrich them, you clean them, and then what you have is the ability to automatically export that to the tool of your choice. Either you want to dump it into Excel, or you want to use it in Tableau, or ClickView, or any such type of product. We have the ability to allow you to do that. Very cool. Uh, tell me a little bit about your company. How are you funded and who works Wonderful. there? And Absolutely. So, Paxada is based in Redwood City, California. Uh, we were founded in the beginning of 2012. Uh, myself and uh, three other uh, gentlemen uh, founded the company. Uh, we are uh, funded by Axel Partners India uh, and um, uh, the Walden Riverwood Fund, which is also based, uh, based in La Park. Uh, we have uh, closed our Series B recently, where uh, we've raised uh, $8 million. Prior to that, we had raised about two and a half. Um, we launched our company at uh, the Strada Hadoop show on October 28th. Uh, we're also very proud uh, to have partners in addition to Rackspace, uh, partners such as Cloudera, ClickView, and Tableau that we announced at our recent launch. Um, we are um, you know, in the mid-20s right now in terms of employee count and growing rapidly. So that's what we are and very excited. And most important, I think, is we're very proud and very fortunate to have the customers we've ha we have. One of my mantras when we started the company was not to launch the company, but to have our customers and partners launch our company. We're very proud that when we launched uh, at Strata, uh, all our customers were present and they launched the company for us. Very cool. Uh, where do we learn more about it? Uh, www.paxata.com. That's P-A-X? P-A-X-A-T-A -A yep. dot com. And uh, you have everything there. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you so much for coming on and showing it to me and Thank talking you. about the future of business. Thank you so much. It was a pleasure.